Hello and welcome back. By the time this video will be released, we should be a little bit more than halfway through the month of January and well into 2021. And um, I thought it'd be fun to talk about resolutions, New Year's resolutions. I like to make them. I like to have some kind of goal and some kind of purpose uh, going into the new year, something that'll drive me and keep me going. I think with the way 2020 ended up being, a lot of people's resolutions, or at least mine, they went out the window and I had to pivot. But I liked having those resolutions um, and those goals laid out before the year started so that it, it felt easier to pivot when things went south or went up in flames, literally. It was a very challenging 2020 for me in terms of creativity and self-improvement. And I thought I would keep it very small in terms of resolutions for 2021, just because you never know, right? I wanted to launch my Patreon and I wanted to promote it and grow it. And I was going to use conventions as a, as a way to um, build up the community for my Patreon. And then that didn't happen. So I had to figure out ways to do that. And I think I was more creative than I've ever been. That's because certain things were taken away from me, like conventions and traveling. So I had to find a way to be more present online, which is crazy because like <laughs> I'm online all the time. Um, so yeah, I didn't really get to grow the community as much as I wanted to. I have, you know, a few patrons and I gave them everything. <laughs> I put, I still put 110% into the Patreon. And so now I'm at this point in time of like, where do I go from here? What do I want to do next? Um, and I think that all starts with uh, just, you know, having some kind of um, goal, some kind of project goal and, and, and resolutions. One of them is to read more. And that's a resolution that I always make, not because I fail at it, but it's always something that can consistently be improved upon each year. And I feel like if I read enough of anything, you know, just absorb as much as I can, it would help with my storytelling and the stories that I want to tell and things like that. I always want to read more and I think it's going pretty well so far. The first book I read was Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2 by Johnny Sun or Johnny Sun. Uh, this was a recommendation from the comics teacher who also reviewed The Murder Balloon last year. And so this was a really good book. Got a lot of illustration and like these sort of uh, little insights and observations of just life, you know. And I I, I thought I found it very um, soothing for the soul. I read Ernest Klein's Ready Player Two, uh, which I had mixed feelings about. After I finished reading it, I was like, there's no way they can make a movie out of this because there's so many different licenses and properties and things that they would need to get the rights to. And then I thought I saw a tweet that said, hey, Ready Player Two is going to be in production. So I'm curious as to how much they're going to change of this book which is actually pretty dark. It's like the uh, Empire Strikes Back of this universe, which is a play on multiple cinematic universes and game universes. And it's super nerdy and pop culture-y. Is that a word? I don't know. But it's very, uh, it, it gets very dark. And then um, it gets really interesting. And then it ends and I was like, did I like that? I don't know if I did or not. So I've read two books so far, and then I'm currently reading um, this book, Wink. This is a, a like a, a, a middle school book um, about a kid who gets cancer in his eye. And um, he has to kind of cope with that and sort of brave the dangers of middle school of like people making fun of him and stuff. It's very um, sad and funny. I'm enjoying it so far. So this is the other book I'm reading. And then I got a couple other things that um, I have lined up. I have Archimaniacs by um, Art and Franco. I got this Michael J. Fox book 
for Christmas, No Time Like the Future. And then I have a bunch of horror comics I want to get into. So something um, is killing the children. The second volume of Bitter Root. I just finished Dracula Mother, which was really awesome. Uh, so yeah, I've been reading a lot, which is great. And then my second resolution is um, like to be healthier. And uh, that's something I always struggle with. And I started doing yoga this month or I'm in the process of doing like a 30 day yoga challenge and it's awful because <laughs> my body hurts everything hurts but that's that's good right and then just creatively I, I like to make creative resolutions but again with the year I had last year where everything kind of got turned upside down it's upside down and on its head and I feel like my creative output was pushed to the max and I created things like kind of on the fly so I feel I feel um, pretty confident that I'll be making things this year. I just don't know what it is. But one creative thing I do want to keep up with is the tiny sketchbook. It was a sketchbook that I would take with me to conventions and wherever I would travel. And I started this one midway through quarantine and I had nowhere to go. And I felt like I had nothing to draw which, you know, that's not true. Again, I had to adapt. So I think I want to um, fill this up by the end of the year. I thought about maybe using it as a, a drawing journal so I can maybe like talk about what I did in, in forms of illustration. So you know how I mentioned I started doing yoga? Um, you know, I just did like a bunch of yoga poses and maybe like draw some characters from movies I watched or, or even draw my food. And I feel like this will help me process the way things are going and like kind of be good for my mental health. Instead of a travel sketchbook, maybe it's like a, a diary sketchbook or a journal sketchbook. And I need to allow myself half an hour to an hour at the end of each day and draw my feelings or draw what I did or things that kind of stuck in my brain throughout the day and, and sort of put this on paper and put those feelings on paper, you know, it'll tell a story, I think. Again, in terms of creative projects, if you follow me on Patreon, I'll be announcing some things. I have ideas, but I'm really taking the month of January to just slow down because I felt like I have been going kind of hard in the paint since March. And now that it's a new year, it's time to hit the reset button. And um, yeah, I think I think this will be good. I'm, I'm trying to stay positive and um, trying to remain positive for others around me who aren't feeling as, as positive. You know, you always want to achieve more. You always want to do grander things, but you know, sometimes it's very taxing on your mind and body. So I've learned to dial it back. And I think with 2020, I've learned even more so to dial it back and really uh, uh, appreciate being in the moment and, and keeping those goals very small. If you guys have goals and um, resolutions for the year, let me know what your plans are, um, what you want to do, and how you want to better improve your life. I hope you have a good uh, rest of the month and um, I hope you have some wonderful goals uh, planned for 2021 and we will see you on the next.